if you're not addicted to stacking, you're about to get your first taste for free, courtesy of Game Break. Please welcome back X Plays Morgan Webb! Wow, thank you. Big, big, big Morgan Webb fans around here. So I know. like it. We I had like a banner. It was a fire thing. We had to take it down. But thank you. Uh, we got a pair of downloadable games. The first one comes from Tim Schafer and Double Fine Productions. We're big Double Fine fans big here. Big Double Fine fans. Um, you might recognize Brutal Legend, yeah. Psychonauts, some of their other games. Yeah. Which well, you, you might know. not recognize Psychonauts, but you should. You should. Because it was oh. a damn fine game that like nobody bought. This played. was like the critics' darling. Yeah, it really was. But, but stacking is out now. Stacking where you, is out. You play as a Russian nesting doll, so I'm sure the market <laughs> research said that's what the tweens want to do. <laughs> right? Exactly. It's sort of during the Industrial Revolution. It's all silent film. Yes, it is. Which I know you're not necessarily the most, the biggest fan of. But so you play as Charlie. You're the tiniest little um, nesting Teeny, doll. Teeny tiny little Matroshka. You're like the one in the middle that can't split anymore, even no matter how hard you try. So now right. what you can do is you can stack yourself into other dolls if you can sneak up behind them. And you use the stacking to solve puzzles, and you're trying to save your family from this evil baron who kidnapped them and everything. Okay, so yeah. the, the plot is fun. I mean, there is a plot. That's it's, great. But the gameplay, mechanics, the gameplay mechanics are more about getting into... It's, it reminds me of Messiah, like taking over another personality, and, and each doll that you take over or possess has a different ability? Yeah, so um, so for example, there's a, a lady who does a little sexy dance, and then so she can lure guys away, or... Okay. She, she's made of wood. She doesn't do that much of a sexy dance. But, <laughs> well, um, in the world of nesting dolls, it's very provocative. She has a fan. Or, you know, if she can pretend, there's a lady who pretends she's in distress, and there's characters that fart, and... And, and fly. And fly, and squirt water, and that kind of thing. So you're trying to stack into the dolls, so you're using their abilities. Um, using to those help to solve you. puzzles, then, right? Exactly. Okay. Um, it, it, with that said, it, it, is there multiple ways to a, approach a puzzle? Is it a very linear game where you have to get this power to unlock this thing to beat this level? Or? Well, that's sort of the fun thing is all the dolls in the area are going to have different abilities, and you might think of a different way to solve the puzzle. And so you keep trying different things, and okay. it'll tell you maybe there's like three ways to solve this puzzle, and so you can try to figure it out, figure okay. it out that way. Um, Double Fine Games, uh, always polished. I, I think that they're always yes. quality. But, Quirky. but for some people, that quirkiness, I think, might be a turnoff. It might be hard to, uh, hard, it's not so accessible, if you will. Um, is stacking one of those games, or is this something that you can recommend easily to everybody? I think I can recommend this to most people. Like, if you like puzzle games, mm -hmm. and if you enjoy a quirky sense of humor, which I, I feel like most gamers do, then I feel like it's definitely a recommend. All right, it's available for 1,200 MS points or 15 bucks. I really, really wish they would quit that. Um, <laughs> what did X-Play give it? A uh, four out of five. Okay, solid yeah. title. So it is solid. If it looked at all appealing to you guys, just pick it up. All right, next we have a, another puzzle game. This is from a Swedish developer. This is Elo Milo. Elo Milo. Which I was waiting for for a long time because it just looked adorable. Um, it's, it's pretty adorable. It has a little bit of a, a little big planet aesthetic. It has yeah, a little absolutely. like stitched aesthetic. Um, it's, again, very, very polished. It's a puzzle game, so... Mm -hmm. You're basically your two friends and you try to meet for tea in the forest every day. Of course you do. But the forest keeps changing, or maybe you have really bad memories. They don't really make it clear. <laughs> um, and so each day you have to figure out how to meet up and see there they meet up in the end and they're happy. Yay! But it's, the obstacles <laughs> seem to be, oh, there's, there's a space between us. Not the Dave Matthews song, but there's an actual physical space. So they have right. to put down blocks or something like that? Yeah, so you basically can, can, you can pick up certain kinds of blocks and put them in different places to solve the puzzles. You can also rotate the entire map by walking over the edges. Okay. Okay. So it really, it's sort of deceptively simple. You're like, oh, I got this. This is for kids. And then by the end, you're like, oh, my, my, my brain. Right. You're begging a kid I to beat it for you because you can't <laughs> so, do it. Yeah. See, like we saw right there, we just turned the corner right there. Uh, it starts to mess with your head a little bit. Mind blown. All right. It's yeah. uh, 800 fun points or 10 human dollars. What did X-Play give this one? Actually, it got a five out of five. Wow. Solid. Yeah, it had challenging puzzles. It had an adorable, weird little story. Great art design. But Morgan Webb, always a pleasure. Thank you so Thank much you for so having much. me. Thank you so much. Uh, again, both games are available to download right now, so do it.